Hey guys, so this is Rebecca from Everyday Veg Life. Please excuse what I'm sure will be a super cringy video. I am not <clears throat> a YouTuber normally, but I decided to temporarily become one because I want to share uh, my super cool new Christmas present. So this is an electric lunchbox. So I originally heard about the electric lunchbox while I was watching an Emmy Made in Japan video. Uh, she's not a vegan YouTuber or a vegan cooking channel, but I do really like her. Great entertainment value with her videos and she will occasionally make some vegan stuff like she did the grapefruit peel steak. Mostly she does weird things. I like her videos for times of hardships. Uh, she actually made me want to try a peanut butter and onion sandwich, which I have not tried yet, but it looks good. So anyway, she had a sponsored video from Itaki where she reviewed their electric lunchbox and it looked awesome and it made me want one. And normally I don't feel that way about sponsored videos, but I thought she really did a good job with it and I was impressed with the way that it performed. So I decided, oops, sorry, let me move the camera some. So I decided that I wanted to look into getting one <clears throat> after I watched her video. So I, oh, get down. Oh. So I am not actually uh, a big fan of weird appliances. Like I don't own a toaster because you can just make toast in the oven. Uh, I am not a big gadgety appliance junkie. My dad is. Uh, I'm not though. So I really debated whether or not I wanted this. And I started watching tons of YouTube videos about the electric lunch boxes. <clears throat> some are in English, some are not. But very few of them, actually I don't think I could find any, are for vegans. None of them make vegan meals. <clears throat> They're usually making like a salmon or a chicken in theirs or like putting fish sauce in the noodles. And that made me question whether or not this was really something I wanted. Um, I did the same thing like when the air fryer came out because all, all you ever see is like meat and cheese. And so I was like not sure if I would get a lot of use out of it. So that's how kind of how I felt about the electric lunchbox. But after watching quite a few videos, I definitely think that I can make some vegan recipes. And that's why I'm moving out of my comfort zone and making YouTube videos that I don't normally like to do to show some of the recipes that I think will be good with the electric lunchbox. So that if you are debating purchasing one or if you got one for Christmas and don't know how to use it and you're vegan, then this maybe gives you some options. And if you're not vegan, this might just be something different that is also a healthy choice. So right now I'll go ahead and do a little bit of an unboxing and we'll look at a little bit. So like, why would you want an electric lunchbox too is the other thing. So I know at my work, I'm an elementary teacher during the day and a group fitness instructor in the evenings. Um, so I, I eat lunch at school. The teacher's lounge has two microwaves, one and a half. One of them doesn't work very well. <laughs> that we're always fighting over. Your food is never the right temperature. And we, at most, I get like 20 minutes for lunch. It's supposed to be 30, but by the time you go to the bathroom and get your lunch ready, you never get 30 minutes to eat. So I was tired of scarfing down lukewarm food in 15 minutes. And I thought this could be a fun way to get some healthy food that's cooked well and cooked fresh that I could do in my classroom or in the teacher's lounge. It's pretty portable. I also think it would be really cool um, if you maybe worked somewhere where you don't have access to healthy food or a way to reheat it. Like if you were a mechanic in a shop or a, like a trucker or a construction worker or you know you were just out and about somewhere. I think it's pretty cool. So we're going to get started. This isn't a real unboxing because I opened it on Christmas Day because I was pretty excited about it. But this is the box that it comes in. So this is not the Otaki brand. I am not sponsored. This is a different one that my mom found. She bought this for me on Amazon and I'll put a link to it in the, what do you call it? Description box? I'll put a link and <laughs> you can check it out. This is the exact link I sent her. I did some research. I knew I wanted one of the big ones. I knew I wanted one of the round like stackable ones. There's um, some that are kind of rectangular and the food like sits next to each other. So I wanted one that was similar to the one Emmy was using, but I didn't necessarily, like it didn't have to be the name brand Itaki brand. So this is, I think an Itaki brand 
knockoff. Uh, this is what it looks like. Now I have already opened it, so I took away, I already threw away a lot of the um, plastic packaging, you know, the standard plastic packaging that kind of comes with it. So it has two little carrying handles that will fold down. This is what the front of it looks like. Now, like I said, I think that this is kind of an Ataki brand knockoff. And part of why I think that is right here, it says, um, when you and me turns to us, I'm pretty sure Ataki has the exact same thing written on it with like the same picture. The only difference is that I'm pretty sure theirs has the word or their name brand like put here somewhere. So this is the brown one. Like I said, it's three tiers. Um, and it came with a little bit more packaging, like plastic packaging than this. Uh, I saved the bubble wrap to play with later because that's fun. And then the other thing that it comes with right out of the box is the, um, oh, I have to that down, is the instruction book. So the big difference that I notice whenever you watch the other videos with the Ataki brand and this one is that the, um, the Ataki brand comes with a more in-depth instruction book. I think it even has like a recipe book. I probably wouldn't use a lot of recipes out of that, but it would be helpful to have measurements because this one doesn't even give measurements for like rice. So it comes with the rice scoop, but it doesn't actually say what proportions to use any of the stuff in. So I'm going to go with the measurements that Emmy uh, uses in her videos because she made really good rice and she also has a 40 milliliter measuring cup. We'll get to that in a second. The other thing that <clears throat> I noticed right offhand when you look at the like pamphlet with the instructions, it is made, um, they have two different models, one smaller, so it shows both. Um, the other thing that was really just like kind of stuck out is the English in it isn't exactly, it's not perfect. And I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Like, you still know what it's saying. But it's kind of like um, they use Google Translate. So, for example, it says, like, using method. And whereas you would maybe see method of use on a product that was manufactured differently. Or, I don't know. <laughs> like, like, they didn't quite pay for a translator or an interpreter. Um, <clears throat> one of the ones that just made me happy was in the instructions for like things you should and shouldn't do with it for example don't throw in a bathtub it says um putting into the high temperature disinfector for disinfection is prohibited which means don't put in the dishwasher so like i said it kind of made me smile a little bit it's not a bad thing i'm not making fun of them or anything you can definitely tell what they're trying to say um or like what it means it's just not written in the way that i would have written it or the way i would have expected to see it written um maybe we're a different company but uh it's pretty cool i bought the three tier model so uh it starts off with the base is on the bottom and it's got these two plastic clips that unclip so the base has uh, the this is the electric part that heats it up. So if you've ever owned a rice maker, this is really really similar to a rice maker. So it's got a place for a plug in the back. This is the button that you use to switch it on and off. And then sitting, what sits inside that base? Let me move this so you can see. Let me move the camera. Ah, I told you I'm not a YouTuber. Give me a second. Okay. <clears throat> so what sits inside that base? is the first big bowl. Now it comes with a plastic lid. This is just for when you're traveling. Do not leave the plastic on when you're cooking. So in the big plastic base, it also has a smaller tray that sits inside the plastic base. So this is like a steam tray. So it comes with this uh, 40 milliliter, I'm gonna make my camera focus, 40 milliliter, super, super tiny, cute measuring cup for rice. It has this gadget, and I actually had to rewatch Emmy's video because I couldn't figure out what this was for. So it sits down. Oops. I'll turn it. See, I'm not good at this. It sits down, I think, inside here like this. It's an egg cooker. It holds eggs. So as a vegan, not really sure how much I'm going to be using the egg cooker. But my husband's not vegan, so I'm going to hang on to it. Maybe I'll put dumplings there. Maybe he'll want some hard-boiled eggs. Who knows? Or steamed eggs? Do you still call them hard boiled eggs? I don't know. I cannot get my camera. You know, you don't need to see my face. It's about the lunchbox. That's all right. So it also has the cord. So the cord, of course, has the end that plugs into the wall. And this came with the type of plug that fits American plugs. Um, and then it also has the kind that, or the 
end that goes in the base. So it's not a super duper long cord, but I'm also not sure why you would need a super long cord because theoretically, I can't get this undone. Theoretically, this is gonna be on your desk or somewhere like in your cubicle or you know wherever you work. So I don't think you would need a super long cord and when you travel with it, you can take the cord off of it, which I like. So the cord is about as long as my arm-ish, about 5'2", so. <clears throat> so the big base is for like your rice or your grain, your pasta, noodles, ramen, whatever you're eating. The steam tray, and you can see it has little holes, goes on top of that. And then when you're traveling, it also has the lid. And then you go into the second base. So when you look at the divider in between, the first and the second base. It actually has holes in it. This allows the steam to escape and get through. So the steam from the rice will come up and will cook whatever is in your second bowl. Again, it comes with the plastic lid that you don't use when you're cooking. This can be vegetables. Um, in the non-vegan videos, people will put, you know, chicken or salmon here. Uh, Emmy does a video where she does some bao and some dumplings, which I think is pretty cool. I'm not that adventurous yet, but I will be one day. And then the lid goes on the top and it all snaps together to cook. One of the things that the uh, instructions said is to make sure that the vent is always open so that steam can escape and not to cook it with the vent closed. But I can't figure out how to close the vent. Like to me, it appears to just always be open. So I think I'm good there. <laughs> the steam can escape. One thing that I noticed right away playing with it is the plastic clips are not the most sturdy plastic clips in the world so just don't be rough with it and I think it'll be fine and then also when you're clipping it together you have to really make sure that you line everything up because if you don't oh I'm already not lined up if you don't you'll go to lift it up by the handle and part of it will stay behind so <clears throat> it's not very heavy the specifications on Amazon I want to say two pounds maybe I'm not sure this one does not come with a special carrying bag or anything. The one that Emmy bought on Emmy Main Japan did. Uh, I really think like I could probably sew my own, but in the meantime, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is use a reusable shopping bag. This is just my Publix bag, and I can put it down in here with whatever else, you know, snacks or whatever I want for the day. I'm not sure yet. I'll get to that. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. So yeah, this is it, and I'm pretty excited to use it. So I am gonna actually practice with it today. It is still my winter break from school, so I'm not actually at work. I wanna practice with it a little bit today. I'm gonna do a Southwest fajita bowl later today, and I'll go ahead and film that. You can see my first recipe, hopefully it's not a fail. Um, and I have a actually book full, cause I will lose train of thought, a book full of recipes that I'm interested in trying. I've got some different flavors with Mediterranean, dumpling, curry, shepherd's pie, um, all kinds of stuff that I'm really excited. Some of them are a little more adventurous than others. I'm really excited to try it and hopefully it turns out as awesome as I'm hoping it will. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I'm not a YouTuber, so this is not like super high quality content and I get that, but I do <laughs> hope you enjoy it. And if you have any suggestions for like a recipe or something that you want to see me try, uh, go ahead and put that what do you put it in the comments? I guess comment and let me know what you want to try. I am much more active on Instagram. My Instagram is the same everyday veg life. So go follow me on Instagram, you know, comment or whatever there. I'll share all my recipes for free. I'm not a blogger or like I don't have a website or anything. I just like to share what I eat and I like to be a normal voice of reason in the vegan community because there's a lot of crazy people out there, a lot of crazy extreme vegans. And I want to show that you can be a totally normal average vegan. I shouldn't say average and no one's normal. No one's average, but you don't have to be extreme. You don't have to only eat raw food or only eat from this time to this time, or, you know, get rid of your favorites or not use processed food. There's totally ways to do a balanced, healthy vegan diet that satisfies you emotionally because food is soul food and it satisfies you nutritionally, physically, you know what I mean. So, My cats would like breakfast now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of minimal meal prep. 
Um, and then I'll come back closer to lunchtime and we'll cook our first meal in the lunchbox. Thank you guys.